One of the great things in Windows and a lot of other operating systems is the copy and paste. So if I were to copy and paste words, I could copy and paste files. It's very easy to do. So for instance, if I go into my desktop and I'll say, give me a new text file. Now I'm going to right click on it and copy and I'm going to paste. However, one of the problems with copy and paste is that by default, you're only going to get one at a time. It'd be great if we could use multiple copies. And we can do that in Windows 10 now by clicking on the Start menu and going to Settings. And then we're going to go to where it says System at the top left. Then we're going to go to Clipboard. And then we're going to click on Clipboard History. So we can save multiple items to the clipboard for later use. So click On. And we can see these by going to the Logo key plus V. So I'll click Logo plus V just to show you that the clipboard right now is empty. Now let's see this thing in action. So this only works with text. It doesn't work with copying files. So for instance, I copied this file earlier and I hit the logo and the V and it says my clipboard is empty. However, if I paste, then I'm actually pasting another copy. So what it does do is it works with words. So I'm gonna type a few sentences and then we'll see how this works. Now I have three sentences. This is my first copy, second copy, and third copy and paste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first one. I'm going to right click and choose copy. And beneath my third line, I'm going to paste it in. So there's my first one. Now I'll hit the logo V and we see there's my clipboard with one item in it. Now I'm going to choose my second one, copy and paste. And I'll choose my third one copy and paste. Now I'll choose the logo V again, and now I see three different items. So I can reuse my clipboard from previous copies. So for instance, let's say I want to use my second one. I'll click on that and check it out. Let's do it again and say I want to use my first one. And there it is. So I can use as many as you see in this clipboard. And that can be pretty handy when you are trying to copy and paste and do that from multiple different locations. And you may have forgotten the location where you did before in the past. So I know that I could use this many times when I'm doing various different copy and paste projects. And I'm sure it'll be useful for you as well.